Hi everybody, this is Hithi Readings and hi Libra. Let's see what messages will come through for you guys. What do we have for Libra, please? What do we have for Libra? Let's get your guided message. And in case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked underneath the video for you guys. We have solitude and purity. Okay. A lot of you are, it looks like you're enjoying yourself alone. Okay. You're enjoying the time that you have by yourself and we will see what that means. But to me, it looks like, oh, we have the death card at the bottom of the deck with judgment and the seven of pentacles. So I feel like Libra at this time, your focus is on what is worth investing your time and energy into and what is not. Okay. Um, it's almost like a lot of you are trying to regain your confidence. And we will see. Six of Pentacles, yeah. For a lot of you, maybe your focus is on money, the Empress, growth, expansion. I feel like in the past you waited for something, but maybe then you decided to move on. Right now your energy is not stuck. But there is resistance. Oh my goodness, Libra. What is this? For a lot of you, maybe I'm seeing traveling or movement. Okay, a lot of you could be... Um, look at that. You could be planning to move or travel. I also feel like, Libra, this has a lot to do with... Um, taking your control back in a certain situation. We have the king and the queen of wands together. Your advice is the Harfin. Bottom of the deck is the nine of swords and the seven of, uh, sorry, the six of wands. Too much stress about a certain situation, Libra. Too much stress. We have the chariot with the sun reverse. I feel like Libra, there's a certain situation in which you're lacking optimism. Okay, you're lacking optimism in a certain situation. But to me, it also looks like you're detaching from it. You're detaching because you feel like, what's the point of me giving into the situation when I don't even see it going anywhere? Okay. Um, in your extended, I will uh, pull out bonus messages. So something that we might have not seen in this reading we will see in your extended okay four of coins ace of wands to the hermit so i really feel like libra for a lot of you there is a stuck energy here um your challenge here is to grow and to expand okay to let go of your comfort zone because you're holding on to something that's not letting you grow okay um, there's a little bit of that stubbornness page of wands. There's something new coming up for you guys. Let's see. Two of wands, please. Oh, man. Two of Wands, 
Three of Wands, Magician, and the Devil Reverse. As you're getting over something that was once, you know, that once had a great impact on you, Libra. Okay, I see you getting over that. But I also feel like you're looking forward to something. However, there's an element of like, am I on the right path? You're leaving something behind for sure. But at the same time, there is a fear of the unknown. Nine, of, sorry, the Ten of Swords. Something is stressing you out. In the coins. A lot of you could be stressed out about your money situation. You're focused heavily on your money. I feel like there's a news coming in for you, especially if it is about your money, if there's a decision related to money that you're going to be making pretty soon. I feel like you're going to be receiving the news about that. I also feel like there's communication coming in, but whoever you're dealing with, I'm going to get to that in a bit. I do see communication. Why is the sun reversed? Let's see, what's, what is something that you're lacking optimism in Five of Wands? I feel like Libra, you're trying your best to keep it together, but there is some sort of this inner conflict that you may be feeling. Let's see, tell me about the seven of wands here, please. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it does look like a lot of you are surrendering control, Libra. You're letting go. You're surrendering. Okay. The thing about this reading is that I'm seeing the king and the queen of coin and then, and then I'm seeing the king and the queen of wands together. So to me, it looks like there is a divine counterpart here. However, you're not in union with this person right now. A lot of you, I feel like you're trying to get your confidence back. You're trying to find yourself again here. But with the King of Wands energy right next to it, it almost looks like... I feel like they're... Oh, I just noticed, man, Libra, we have Empress and the Emperor together too. So we have a lot of like divine counterpart energies in your reading. There is a union here that I see, but not like right now, like not soon, okay? I feel like you're going to meet this person or there's a union in love here when you least expect it or when you would have moved on from the situation because with the Three of Wands and the Ten of Swords energy, it's like I'm trying to move on from this or I'm going to let it go kind of a vibe. What is the chariot about for Libra? Ace of Swords, the Queen of Cups, Clarity, Truth. Let's see. King of Wands and the Nine of Coins. <laughs> Your main focus, I feel like, is on being as clear as you can about things. And even the closure that you have, haven't have gotten from the other person, I really feel like you're giving it to yourself, Libra. You're giving that closure to yourself. And with the nine of coins energy, it's almost like I'm fine being single. It's better to be single than be with a person who's not worth it. Okay, this is that vibe that I'm getting. Let me see.
Yeah, when it comes to a relationship, Libra, I feel like you're letting go of something. And with the Nine of Pentacles energy and the Emperor, you're taking your control back. You're being more independent with your wife. Hence why we have that solitude energy there. But whoever you're dealing with, their energy is the Eight of Wands to the Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody who wants to communicate with you. They think a lot about you, Libra. Nine of Swords to the Emperor energy. This person is thinking a lot about you. However, it also looks like this person is very slow to move towards you. Let me see. of swords this is a person you've had a rough past with libra this is a person you've had a rough past with i don't know what was said or done here there's an energy of somebody being very deceptive Your advice here from the reading is the Harfant, Libra. Honestly, I see a relationship here that you're manifesting, Libra. However, this is something that you're not very focused on. So that is where the unexpected element of the situation comes in. What is the Harfant about, please, for Libra? What is the Harfant about for Libra? King of Cups. Love. Page of Swords. Um, I feel like a lot of you want to be in a long-term relationship or you often think about being in a long-term re long relationship, okay? Um, and if that is the case, then you need to be embodying that energy. You need to be in alignment with that energy. King of Cups tells you to open up to be emotionally available. Page of Swords and the Harfin and the King of Cups is like an energy of you opening up to the possibilities. The lovers. Libra, I really feel like you're manifesting love, but you're not seeing it coming. And this is a choice. The lovers can represent a choice because if you're so closed off, if you're not wanting to open up, how are we gonna get here okay again the harfen energy with the judgment reverse F, uh, ace of pentacles i feel like the reason why you're having a hard time opening up is because of your past experiences or how things ended up in the past however honestly for some of you there could be more than one person but i'm definitely seeing you manifest a divine counterpart it is here it is on the table Okay. The rest we will clarify in the extended and we will see uh, what is this about? How is this person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check out the extended if you want. Okay, let's read for you Solitude and Purity now. Spend some time alone in your life. This means to take your own counsel rather than relying on the opinions and dictates of others. Break away from the crowd. Be on your own. This card also speaks of self-resourcefulness, self-reliance and tenacious individuality. If you are working on a project, trust your instincts and follow your own lead. Your creativity is at its peak. Let it flow. If you're in a relationship that is disempowering, this card suggests that it is time to step away. Take time to reassess your life. In solitude, you will thrive. This card also suggests a safe haven, a sacred womb for incubation and self-transformation. 
Let's read for you purity. No matter what has happened in the past, everything can be fresh and new again. The purity of your soul is shining through everything that you encounter. You're entering into a period of grace. Simply open your heart and know that the best is yet to be. The past does not need to equal the future. Your future can be and will be great and shimmering, sparkling bright. Old limiting patterns are dropping away. Recurring challenges are releasing. This is a time of redemption, forgiveness and healing. Absolutely. So a lot of these energies are signifying a change or it's, it's, it's like a turnover kind of an energy where things are changing for you. And honestly, with the Wheel of Fortune energy here, anything is possible. Wheel of Fortune signifies changes. It signifies growth, new opportunities, fate, destiny. Okay. And there's a big focus. I can tell that there's a big focus on relationships. Okay. That's it, Libra. Thank you so much for being here. Those were the messages that came up for you. Check out the extended if you want to know more about what, what will happen next between you and your person and bonus messages that I might have not picked up on in this read. Thank you so much for being here. Take care and bye-bye.